Okay, welcome to a guide of pace camping with, le with leather frames. I'm just gonna go fast through the perks I like to use. So the key with the face camping is to get the first down pretty fast. Like the faster you get the first down, the better chance you have to get a 4k. So lethal pursuer, you see all the people in the start of the game. You can see if people are AFK and such, if people run down in the basement to loot. That is just like dream scenarios, but it, ha it happens. So I think this one is actually re really good. Noad is just, it rewards you for doing nothing basically. If they do gens, you gonna get like one more kill in the end, or maybe you can just form a slug with a node up. It's like, it's all, always good. And then you have Insidious. It's just like, it's the meme to, fa to face camp with. Like, in low ranks, it can even counter Kindred. People don't even realize what's going on. And then you have Bamboozle. You sh shut down the f uh, a lot of loops and it helps you to get more like faster downs in the start of the ch uh, chases and other perks that are like good to use are agitation if you really want to go for the basement uh, face camping then then you can have that instead of lethal pursuer and such and then you can have a have bitter murmur. It gives you a lot of info when, like, while you face cam, you can see after the gen pops, like who's there. Like, it's a lot of bitter, uh, bitter murmur value you can get though. So I really like this perk as well. But I, I, this is what I use now at least. That's what I find more fun. Yeah. Now let's jump into the game. Okay. Let's see how this game gonna go. Now we're gonna see the Lethal Pursuer kicking in. The one is running like... Now we can see that one guy on the left there is like a really easy prey. Because most likely she has no clue what she's doing or just unlucky. I'm not sure if I could have went i uh, actually gotten that one. Let's go for the phantom just to make sure I'm gonna get the down. And let's see, do we have the base there? No, we don't. So we need to improvise. What I like about this hook, you can legit just stay here, and then it's not a lot of, uh, of options for saving. And as you can see, if people just waste their time, now I'm getting the pallet of them. I get her as well. I'm not gonna pick up. Like just having one guy down, that means one less guy on the gen. And the best scenario when face camping is the guys on the hook are attempting. It's saving you 20 seconds for each attempt. Because time is really precious when you, fa when you, when you face camp. Can be some dead time, so it's pretty nice to just have like a stream on the on the side watch or like a video. I mean, watch uh, series while doing this. It's kind of relaxing. It's just like you have to set things on pause when you get into the first chase. And uh, this insidious camping is pretty like s snowballing. If if it's a survive friends, people don't want to let their teammates to die. Of of course, I can understand that and uh, like the more they're actually just being altruistic it's so much better for us let's see yeah, like now none of them are doing gents so 
I almost fucked that up. Just look at this. This is like a perfect example of what's going on with all altruistic survivors. And now I can, I can basically just follow this one and we got a 4k unless it's from breakable as breakable stone. Now we shut down this loop. I think I need to go. No, I, I don't get the mass one here. That's a really wide one. Knows about the. Uh, I was about uh, forcing the mouse one. They cannot get in the window and then we just vault it. Do you have dead heart? You do. Oh, why did she go? Yeah, she just kept running. Let's just bloodlust a bit. Most likely gonna go in our favor. Just zoning her away from the teammates. Close this down. Yeah, she gets this. They're, cr they're crawling fast. She doesn't get this. And there we go. It's GG. I most likely could have... Uh, did it better to like, just break the pallet, a pallet insta, but... When there are two slugs on the ground, I just want to see if she does a mistake. And uh, normally you kind of wait in front of the hook to see if they... Kobe off the hook. And now, I'm gonna guess the last one is just like far away. Okay, I see it, the last one. And the thing about when you face cam, you really want to have at least two or three PC players or, or four. If it's a lot of console players, you kind of want to dodge. Because I had three here, so you, you can see if they still have ping, they're still in the game. And that means we can have a juicy like endgame shot. That's, that's one thing as well about um, face camping. Never be aggressive in the endgame shot. Just say like GG or something. Never be like mean or anything unless they like go like over the line and really like don't even uh, see you as a human being and such. I'm gonna do my famous line, good game, just to show. Let's see if we get some juice here. Maybe they're gonna teach me now. Or Probably a child, okay. I'm just gonna do a question mark and see what if they actually go beyond. Like the like the other thing about why I'm saying you need to be like three or two or four PC players because getting Steam comments is actually a good thing about this uh, game as well like you get so many salty people and just like just like i can look at my steam comments and specifically some of the comments and i can remember what type of games it was you worth to report me but i won't report me for what you say like fa uh, face camping is not uh, against the rules though Like the thing about the, as well about face camping, the best thing you can do against a booba that face camps with 
Insidious, just do gents. If a teammate is down and is on the hook, he's dead. That's like one rule. If you end up in the basement against the Bubba, you're dead. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be more juicy. But now I'm gonna show you some um, like more juicy examples of Steam comments and and like some more aggressive and like endgame chat. I can give you a little uh, picture. Okay, let's start out with some uh, salty endgame chats. Like, if you want to see all this fucking fiesta, feel free to just pause the video and read. It's just like really fucked up. And then I'm gonna go on my Steam pro uh, profile. And then we have some juicy comments. Like, you can pause the video as well if you want to see it. It's like a lot of meme. And then I'm gonna use a friend of mine's for like an example. Like, uh, example as well, XBL Jesus having some juicy Steam comments from fa from face camping, and then my I got my Julieta, my step bro. He got some juicy comments as well, like the bottom there. Like if you wanna watch it or read it, pause the video, and then you know, this is my Steam group. It's like just like for people who face camp. It's pretty meme. If you wanna check what this the legendary uh, daily is, just feel free to click the link below. I will leave up a, a link below. And if you wanna join the basement campers, feel free to do so. And then we have another group of, for a friend of mine who owns it, XBL. It's like the same things about base camping, booba. Like re really fun. And yeah. What else can I say? It's like when like when people get really salty in the endgame chat, if you wanna go out of your way, if they're being like really racist or whatever, like and like anything that's like over the line, you can always uh, just make a ticket on uh, the type of data to help whatever the center is. And then if people really go verbal abuse, you can just uh, punish them like that. And um, well, this is the guide how to get some steep comments, some um, salty people, and uh, feel free to join my the Steam groups. Leave a like if you feel like if it's uh, sub as well, and if you want to flame me as well, just feel free to leave a comment. It's all good. If you don't like face camping, I can understand that. I'm not like totally blind. But it's almost always for the meme. And people should just learn it's a game and just if you if you get face camped, just move on to the next game. And don't show too much hate about it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and have a lovely day or evening further. And bye.